Hello guys, so I have um, a circuit right here and what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to solve it, solve the voltages around the, on the nodes via the node equation. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is label my nodes. Um, so I'm going to start with this one as V1 and also to make things easier on me, I'm going to put the ground right here. That way I don't have to deal with super nodes. I mean, you can put it here and that way you'll get a super node equation, which is kind of hard or some people don't like it. So we're going to put the ground right here. That way we avoid the super loop. And I'm going to call this one V2. And I'm calling this one V3. Okay, and let's see. Um, and now I'll call this one V4. So we're going to have about four equations and we have a V naught right here and we'll start right now writing these equations. So I'm going to start my equations right here. So the first one is going to be for V1. So I'm going to say 0 equal and it's going to be V1 minus 0 and then the furthest sign on the battery, which is going to be minus 6. Okay. The second one that's going to be, we'll start that V2. So we're going to have, we're going to have 0 equal. We're going to have um, parentheses V2 minus V1 divided by the resistance in there, which is going to be 2. Plus, we're going to have V2 going to the left. And that's going to cause me to have V2 divided by 1. So I'm just going to write it as V2. And then plus, I'm going to have V2 minus V3 divided by 2 kilo ohms. And then the last one is going to be, so it's going to be uh, plus, it's going to be plus V2 minus V4 equals 0. So this is the voltage around the V2 um, in the circuit. So we're going to move to V3 right now. So we're going to have 0 equal. So we notice the 4 milliamps is going up, it's going the same direction as um, the current in V3. So we're going to have to write it as 4 milliamps. And then we notice that the 6 milliamps is the opposite way. So we're going to subtract it. So we're going to have minus 6. And I'm avoiding right now the uh, the units because they might confuse you. And then I'm going to have the last one, which is going to be plus plus V3 minus V2. Okay, this is around the the V3, the node. And now we're going to start with V4. So we're going to have to say zero equal. So we have V4. V4 minus the, uh, 0 going to the ground and then it's going to be divided by 2 because you have 2 kilo ohms in that wire uh, it's going to be plus V4 minus V2 divided by 1 so I will leave it like that and then I'm having minus or plus 6 milliamps going the same direction as um, V4 okay and I'm going to have the last equation, which is going to be V naught, okay, V naught, V naught equal, um, V naught is going to be, let's see, I can say it's going to be V2 minus V3, which is the voltage drop, so it's going to be V3, V3, or V2 minus V3, and that's going to equal V naught in that wire. So I would have my, I'm going to highlight them just in case. So I have my equations right here. And um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to solve them via MATCAD. And I'll show you guys how to work on it right now. Um, so just a quick thing we did for the voltage for every um, single node on this circuit. Okay. Um, I might pause this video and then we'll start using MathCAD in a second. So I opened uh, my MathCAD right now. It's 
uh, 14 version. So what I'm going to do first to make things easier for me, I'm going to zoom in 200, that way it's nice to see. And then I'm going to change the background color just because I like that. Let's see. So color, background, and I'm going to have it like yellow. Okay. So if you want to see the equations again, I'm ha I have them right here. Okay. And, and simply we're going to write them here. So the first thing we do in MATCAD is we assign random variable. We don't care what values. So since I have um, four unknowns, which is V1, V2, V3, V4, and we, then we have V0. So we simply, we're going to start as typing um, V1 and then the equal sign. I'm going to name it, just assign a value of 1. And then we say V2 equals 2. And then we say V3 equals v3 equals 3, v4 equals 4, v0, I would, I'll just leave it like that, I'll just name it v0 equals 5, okay, and then I say, move the cursor around, I would say given, and then I simply write my equations, however, you got to make sure there is a difference between the equal sign in this program, so now, I'm going to say 0 and then control and the equal sign will give me this um, bold equal sign. So I'm going to start in V1 minus 0 minus 6. Okay, I'm going to move on. Press enter to move down and then I'm saying equal. So I um, apologize, I figured out how to uh, manage it, to write it down, and I'll do it. You will see it again for this other equation. I have 0 equal 4 minus 6 plus V3 minus V2. Okay. And then I have zero, the plus sign. That's gonna be V4 divided by two move um, plus plus V4 minus V2 plus 6 and now simply just move the this blinking num move it move it to the 0 delete and then take out the parentheses okay press enter and then the last equation is going to be V0 V0 equal V2 minus V3 now we're done with the equations just going to move down and we're going to simply type SO, which stands for solution. And then we need to start typing just the equal sign. You will see it makes like a dots and then equal. And then I'm going to type in find and then all my variables. I have to make sure that they match whatever names I give them at, in the top. You see how capital letters? So I'm going to have V1, V2, comma V3, comma V4, comma v not v not and then press enter to come down and then press s s o l 